We're here at Franklin Middle School with Principal Sharon Eisenberg. 14 years as principal here at Franklin Middle School. That's Congratulations right. on all of your service. We really honor it. Thank and you. today we are going to get to see some exciting things. We're going to look at portrait of a graduate, all that communication and collaboration in a Spanish class here at the middle school. Otra pregunta. Andy, una pregunta. Come fruta. Come fruta por la noche usted. We take pride in our world language department and the teachers we showcase here because all of them are certified to teach high school level. So our students are immersed in Spanish from the time they walk in their classes. And that's what's really exciting here. And they're so well prepared for high school or any other language as they move on. Ellos se dan cuenta que usted habla otra lengua es poderoso. We're also going to take a look at how we're creating meaningful learning experiences through our Closing the Achievement Gap Framework and see some DBQs. This so is a been, DBQ? Yeah, we've been breaking our documents down to get okay. as table group. Is this industrialization? It's industrialization. So okay. it was Andrew Carnegie, did his philanthropy make him a hero or not? Mm. And what documents do you have in front of him? So they have a bunch of different documents. They've okay. got pictures, a political cartoon, and then a chart of all of his philanthropy. So a DBQ is often associated with advanced level classes, mm -hmm. AP, for example, and even IB has a lot of writing around a set of primary documents. You're already doing that here at middle We're school. We're already doing that in middle school. And this is just part of the curriculum? Tell me a little bit more it about is. that. Um, so our smarter goal this year really is here at Franklin, working on getting our students to build the skills to analyze historical documents. Okay. So we've really been focusing on maybe not the writing element of the DBQ yet, but looking at the documents, finding the evidence that's in them, and how we can use that document to back up a statement. We are sort of making that shift in social studies from truly, do you know who Andrew Carnegie was, to, okay, let's dig a little deeper and let's actually think about how Andrew Carnegie affected America. Right, and what are the implications are, for today? Right. Our teachers, I think, across the county, but certainly here, do a great job of bringing in that project-based and really real-life experiences for kids because it is very hard to understand and history is so important because we learn from it. What we learn from the past affects the future. So I'm really impressed with the work that's being done. Well, Sharon, thanks for making Portrait of a Graduate come alive here at Franklin Middle School and thank you for all your years of service. We are very, very fortunate to have your leadership here at Franklin Middle School. Thank you, Dr. Ray. You're welcome.